You special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it When we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright darlings how you all doing i hope you're all doing really really well welcome back to my youtube channel and to another video this time it's a bit of a vlog um we are away for the weekend at our caravan as you can see um it's a little boatyard in uh, just outside both in mid wales um you'll have seen a little bit of footage of our journey on the way up here already some of the nice welsh countryside it's absolutely beautiful and the weather is amazing it's really really sunny although it's really really windy as well uh yeah you know being by the coast it is what it is it's very very windy and being on a boat yard you can hear it whistling through all the the boats and it is pretty cool though uh yeah so 
we're here for a couple of days um i will insert some footage of us um we popped down to the the beach and i did a little bit of filming but the, it's a tidal um beach so the the tide comes in and out and it was actually out at the time so um you can just see all the sand and everything but it's still really pretty so i'll insert that bit of footage as well and um a little tour around the boat yard but because it's so windy i couldn't talk over the the footage so i'll just put a little bit of music over it and you'll see it's a proper working boat yard there's fishing boats here there's fishermen who live here um there's all sorts of different quirky bits and pieces around the boat yard a big american um bus that uh, a young lad is working on and converting into a, a motorhome yeah so you know it's a really quirky place and we love to come here it, we, we really do we get on really well with the people who uh, run the place and the people who live here and we have some really good times um tonight it's saturday today tonight we're having um a barbecue and normally we would um have a barbecue outside but because it's so windy there's a big massive shed so we're all going to pile into the shed tonight and have a barbecue and a few drinks and you know a bit of socialising so looking forward to that and also please excuse how I look this, this is it no makeup nothing glamorous here it's just it is what it is like real life this is it and talking of real life I was in Morrison's today and I met one of my lovely subscribers Cheryl if you're watching I'm so sorry, I, I was a bit like gobsmacked and I'm never ever lost for words. But when you stopped me in the supermarket and said that you watch me on YouTube, I was like, oh my God, I just did not know what to say. I was just, so I don't think I was being like standoffish or rude or anything. I was just, I don't know, I was just in a in bit of a shock. You just don't expect it to happen, do you? You know what I mean? You're walking around Morrison's and somebody stops and says, I watch your YouTube channel. Oh, my God. But thank you, Cheryl. It was really, really nice of you. And lovely to meet you in person. It really, really was. Although I was a bit lost for words and I think I was fumbling a bit. And I better looked at me and thought, bloody hell, you look nothing like you do on your videos. Because <laughs> I just look like this. Dressed like a scruff. No makeup, hair scraped up. And of course it was windy. I mean, I was all windswept and everything. So Cheryl, it was lovely to meet you. It really, really was. Uh, yeah, so. Um, I'll insert the footage now of you know the little tour around the boat yard and um, we only drive round because as i say it's so bloody windy so we drive round and i've filmed it and also uh, the footage of um the beach down the road and uh yeah we're going home tomorrow sunday so when i get home i have got a glossy box to unbox with you which i'll include in this vlog as well and I've also got some beautiful candles to show you. Um, one of my friends, who's also a YouTuber, Danny Evs, I'll leave his YouTube channel down below, has just started a small business and he is making candles. And they, I haven't took them out the box. I've, I've got them here with me. They're all still in the box, all still wrapped up. And this, oh, you can smell them smell them through the boxes so i've got those to unbox with you as well um i'll leave danny's youtube channel and all the details of the small business down below but i'll tell you more about that when i unbox them with you as well so that's the introduction done uh, I'll insert the bit of footage and the next time I see you guys will probably be when I get home. I may do a little bit of filming tonight of us having a drink and stuff. But we have music on and that so it, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll see if I can get some footage of us. And um, I did ask the manager of the boat yard if he wanted to be in the video and he was like yeah, yeah, yeah. But we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. If they are, they all want to be filmed tonight, I might just set the camera down and just, you know, let it run for a little bit and then just take the little bits of footage that are the best and stuff. So, yeah.
I'll stop rambling now, guys. I hope you're all okay. And I hope you're enjoying your weekend, whatever you're doing. Let me know what you've been up to because the weather is, it is, it is nice. It's nice to see the sunshine. I mean, it's warm, but it's really windy here. What, let me know what it's like where you are and what you've been up to over the weekend. And I will see you or to speak to when I get home tomorrow. Love ya. See you in a bit. Bye. <laughs>
Now the Netflix marathon, KG saxophone We'll order in a bunch of food I'll put your favorite music on all the way baritone oh, yeah. Shut the lights, go in front
friends, how are you all doing? Hope you're all doing really, really well on this beautiful Sunday morning. Uh, I know I said I'd be back in town the next time I spoke to you, but do you know what? I'm not. <laughs> um, yeah, what I thought I'd do is, um, I've just took a little video of our boat to show you, but it's, it's all undercover, like it's been covered up because obviously it's stored for the winter. But I've tried to get as much in as I possibly can so you can see like the size of it and stuff like that. So it's only a little short clip and it's all covered up in um, a big shed with lots of other boats. And I'll have to mute it because there was a radio on in the background so you know I'll just quick, it'll just be a quick scan round of the boat. And I thought as well I could give you a little tour of, of the caravan. I mean you know it'd probably take about two minutes because it's tiny. Um, but it's perfect just for me and Les so yeah I'll do that as well and give you a little tour of the caravan um, I'm just in the process of like getting our stuff together to go home uh, what time is it now it's 12 o'clock now so we'll be leaving in perhaps an hour or so might have something to eat before we go I don't know yet so that's what I'm gonna do I'll, I'll insert the footage of the boat and I'll um, what I'll do first is I'll spin the camera around and give it a little tour in here. Then there'll be the footage of the boat and then the next time you see me, <laughs> I should be at our. Um, I didn't get any footage last night of us having a barbecue because to be honest, we was all absolutely knackered. So it was basically, we had something to eat and a couple of beers and we, we was all in bed for 10 o'clock. <laughs> Yay, rock and roll. But yeah, so, you know we didn't do anything exciting so we just sat and had a chat and a, a bit of something to eat and like i say a couple of beers and we was in bed so there, there there was no point in filming anything really there was nothing to film yeah right so i am going to spin the camera around and i will give you a little tour i'll see you in a second so i thought i'd start outside this is the little van outside there's our little chairs and table and yeah, it's only, um, I think it's classed as a four birth, but you know, there's only the two of us. So yeah, so, this is where we walk in. And on the right hand side, as you walk in, this is our little bed. Um, it's just a standard double size bed. So that is where we sleep. And there's all storage around there for clothes and bedding and bits and pieces and stuff like that. So that's our little bed. And then we've got a full length mirror here. This is the bathroom. So let me just open the door. We've got a, a little bathroom in here with everything you need, wash basin and all our toiletries and everything. And then the storage up there above the toilet. And then it's one of those cassette toilets. Yeah, so, you know, it's it's compact. But it's ideal for me and Les. It's clean, it's tidy, and we're more than happy with it. So, yeah, that's the little bathroom. And then down here is our seating area. As I say, I'm just getting prepared and getting our stuff ready to go home. So this is Les's side, where Les sits. And I'll sit on this side here. Telly and a bit of storage there. There's storage underneath the chairs as well. And then there's storage all round the top. So quite a bit of storage. And this is a wardrobe as well. We've got a double wardrobe in here with a little bit of storage down there as well where we keep the toaster and the microwave and stuff. So quite a bit of storage in there for clothing. And then on the other side, as you spin round, this is the little kitchen area. So we've got fridge and a little freezer, the sink, that's our, uh, our internet. And then this is the cooker, four ring burner, uh, stove top kettle. You've got to have one of them when you're camping. That is years old, can you tell? But you know what, it's just one of them. When you make a cup of tea or coffee out of it, it just tastes amazing. And then the cooker and grill down there. And then this cupboard here is just like for your knives and forks and your cleaning bits and pieces and that. And then there's more storage up here. This is where we keep 
the bread and the tea, coffee and sugar and bits and pieces. And then like there's tins and sauces and stuff in there. So it really is quite compact, but we have loads of fun here. We absolutely love being here. You see my Crocs? <laughs> oh God, boat life. Yeah. And then there's like a, a fan thing here that you can, when you're cooking, you know, for the smell to go out and stuff like that. But to be fair, we tend not to cook really inside, not so much, especially during the summer, because, you know, the smell and everything. And that's it from this angle here. So it's, you know, it's small, it's cute and it's, it's cosy and we, we love it. So that's my little caravan tour. I'll insert the footage of the boat now. Like I said, I'll have to mute it because there was a radio playing in the background. And you can't really see much because there is a big cover on it. The manager has covered it up, obviously, for the winter, like I said. But I will insert a little bit of footage and you'll be able to see, uh, you know, the size of it and stuff like that. So I will see you guys in a bit. I just thought I'd show you this boat, guys. This is a friend of ours, and he's turning this into a houseboat, and he's practically got the roof on. The roof has got to go on there, and he's got some double doors that'll lead into what's going to be the living area. And this is the gentleman in question. This is Adrian. Hello, Mark. Seems Georgina. <laughs> I, I watch your YouTube channel. I'm addicted to it. So is my wife. So uh, I'll find this book is finished. I hope you and there's your partner will join us on deck uh, for Trinky Poos. <laughs> and, uh, Definitely. And keep up the good work with the YouTube channel. It's the same for both addicted to it. So my friends, and uh, we look forward to seeing you this summer. Oh, you. love you, I do. Love you. And this is the back end of the boat. Beautiful canopy there with some spotlights. So yeah, there's going to be a bar built in here and there's going to be many a happy time spent on this little houseboat with this young gentleman here. It's a shame his wife wasn't here for you to meet her, Pam. She's beautiful. Hello, Pam. <laughs> Love ya. See you next time we're up. So yeah, guys, I just thought I'd show you this little houseboat. It's, it's beautiful. Well, it will be beautiful when it's finished. So yeah, I'll show you that when it's finished in the future. See you in a bit. I thought I'd just show you uh, Adrian's little setup as well here on the boat yard. This is his, um, his boat. It's absolutely beautiful. You should see it inside. Let me show you. Let's see if I can get a shot inside, whether you can see or not. I don't know. It's so cute. I don't know whether you can see inside there or not. I'm not sure. And that's his little caravan that him and his wife stay in. And his little rib, which is called Jesse, after their dog that passed away, unfortunately. So that's his little rib that he uses. And yeah, that's their little setup where they stay when they're up here on the boat yard. And I'm just going to walk down the slipway. This is where we launch the boats. And this is the estuary. Sorry if it's really windy, guys. where we launch the boat into the estuary that runs into the, the sea. Yeah, it's a real quirky little place. It's not as windy today. I hope you can hear me okay. It's not as windy today. Um, so, you know, I can show you a little bit of what it's like. Look at the sky, it's so blue. We love it here, 
we really do. We really have some nice times here. And there's some gorgeous boats on here. As you can see, that big massive one there. It really is. You know, it, it's uh, it's not posh or anything. It's a working yard and we just love it here. Look at the mountains in the background there. Let me see if I can zoom in. Yeah, look at that. Absolutely love it here, we really do. That's Heidi's van, painter and decorator, if you need one in mid Wales. <laughs> Mad Liverpool fan. <laughs> yeah. I'll see you guys in a little bit. This is my dad's boat, his little fishing boat. He absolutely loves it. He really, really does. Look at the size of this one. Let me take it this way so you can see it. So that's my dad's uh, little boat, Doom Bar. Look at that big sailing boat there. Absolutely gorgeous. That one is massive. And then this is my dad's little setup here. He's got his motor home and his little van. And this is where dad spends his time. So yeah, it's a great little community. And that's a shot down the boat yard there. Love it. I hope you've enjoyed what you know being with us. Hang on, let me get out of the wind. Oh. It's still quite windy, you know. Oh, I'll just step inside here, that's it. So yeah guys, look at that boat, that big massive one. I just stepped back inside the caravan. I hope you've enjoyed seeing, you know, where we spend our weekends over the summer. As I say, it's nothing posh, but we absolutely love it. It's a great little community here and we really enjoy being here and I've hope you, I hope you've enjoyed uh, having a little look around with us. Again, I will see you in a bit. Also guys, <clears throat> excuse me, this beautiful um, static home here belongs to the manager of the boat yard, Lloyd, and his wife, Cara, who are beautiful people, we get on really well with them and we have such a laugh with them when we're here. They really do, you know, make you feel welcome and it's gorgeous, this um, static home is. This is where they stay uh, when, I mean, Lloyd's here every day obviously being the manager and Cara comes of a weekend and this is where they stay this is their little uh, part of the community and then this one here there's another static home there that's where Lloyd's son Dion who helps him run the boat yard that's where he he stays so yeah you know there's a few of us and we love it again shot of that boat and the sunshine. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful, guys. Hope you're enjoying your weekend as well. So again, <laughs> I will see you later. I keep adding little bits in. I hope you don't mind. I hope you're enjoying it. Yeah, I will see you later. Hello, I'm back again. <laughs> I'm home. Hope you're all okay. I really do hope you've enjoyed this little vlog. Um, we haven't long got back home. Just had some lunch. And I'm just going to finish this little vlog off now with the glossy box and some candles from a friend of mine that I mentioned earlier on, Danny Ebbs, uh, who's just started a new small business. So I'm going to do that first and then we'll do the glossy box. Right, Danny, some of you guys may be familiar with him as a, a YouTuber. Um, he's just started this small business. I've got my book here with all the info in. And it's called um, Lumiere GB. It's got a website. I'll leave all the details in the description box down below of Danny's Instagram, the Lumiere GB Instagram, and also Danny's YouTube um, channel as well. So you can pop over and have a look at his channel. It's very similar. He does hauls and stuff like that. He does DIYs and vlogs. Uh, he's brilliant at 
you know, DIYs around the home and stuff like that. And he loves doing shopping hauls. So I'm sure you'd enjoy his content as well. If you're not already subscribed, pop over and uh, show him some love and subscribe to his channel. And also give him a follow over on Instagram as well and the new small business over on Instagram, if you've got Instagram, of course. Right, so let's unbox these candles danny messaged me and told me about the new business that he was starting and asked me if i would like to choose a couple of things off the website and show them to you guys and when i said of course you know of course i would um anything to help out a fellow youtuber and friend as well and when i went onto the website oh my god the, the candles are beautiful and they're really reasonably priced as well and also free delivery on top. I mean, you know, what's not to love? And they come boxed in these gorgeous little brown boxes with the jute string. And on the top, it's got Danny's uh, Lumiere. I'll, I'll take the string off and show you. It's got his Lumiere logo on the top. Oh, bloody hell, I should have bought my scissors in. And I'm still dressed like a scruff, no makeup or anything. Well, I've done my eyebrows and put a bit of um, mascara on. It's about it. I've had no makeup on all weekend, uh, being away at the boat yard. You just don't bother, do you? I mean, you know, no point. I'm nearly there. I'm nearly there. Right. Okay. So, they've got it. Danny's um, logo there, Lumiere GB, and a lovely little thank you card. All this is recyclable, all the packaging, which is brilliant. There's a little care sticker there to tell you how to care for your candles, which I'm ripping through in my nails. This is what they look like. I, I haven't even seen these myself, as you can see, I'm unboxing them with you. This is what they look like when you open them. Again, all Danny's, uh, what's it say there, handcrafted and Danny's um, little logo there on the sticker. So let's just undo that. And then there's all the, the recyclable stuff. Oh, these are the bubble candles. What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, he's put me some sweeties in. <laughs> Oh, that smells like pineapple rock. Look, some sweeties in a little jute bag. How nice is that? Oh, Danny. And these are the candles. Look at these. There's two of these. These bubble candles. Look at those. Now, I'm not going to burn them. Now, I'm just for show. Now, he did tell me that they was either. He couldn't remember which ones he'd put in. Strawberry, soft strawberry or bubblegum, and I think they are strawberry. So, in this box, there is two of these beautiful bubble candles, absolutely gorgeous. From one of my trays, love those, Danny. Yeah, definitely strawberry, and they smell amazing. I could smell these through the box. They've been in my bag up the caravan over the weekend and every time I went by my bag I kept whiffing up. <laughs> so that's the first lot. And also 10% uh, of the... Um, yeah, the price. 10% <laughs> of what you pay. Uh, Danny is donating to um, Cancer Research UK which is an amazing thing to do. So not only are you supporting a small business, you'll be supporting cancer research as well, which, you know, is vital because we're all touched at some point in our lives now, aren't we, with someone who has had or got cancer, which is such a shame. You know, I think it affects nearly everybody's family, doesn't it, at some point or another in our lives. So, yeah, 10% of what you pay on the candles will go to Cancer Research UK. Right, now the next box is wrapped up very, well, exactly the same. So I'm going to be struggling to get the bloody jute off again. <laughs> Hang on. 
I should have just bought my scissors in. It's tied in a double knot. Oh, come on. Oh, it sets my teeth on edge as well. Duke does. I don't know why. I can't. Oh, come on. There we go. Got it. <laughs> so, again, same kind of box. Everything recycling with uh, recyclable with the logo on and a thank you card again. And inside here, this is what it looks like. Oh, another bag of sweeties. <laughs> the same ones. Oh, no, these are different. Oh, little sweeties. I'll be munching them later on. How cute is that, though, in the little jute bags? I'm going to keep them little bags. And again, all the recyclable stuff. Now, these ones are absolutely beautiful look at these this is the first one how gorgeous is that and they're all in spring colors now these scents are cut grass lemongrass and spring morning i'd say that one was the spring morning absolutely beautiful so that's the first one these are as you buy them as a set I think that's the lemongrass that's the second one gorgeous and then oh there's four there's four oh now that's the lemongrass beautiful spring colors and then there's this one that smells a bit like lemon as well there's that one as well. Absolutely beautiful they are. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Danny, for sending me these. They are stunning and they smell absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to put a few screenshots around as well so you can see what other stuff Danny does. He does the body shape candles. Uh, he's got like uh, Easter eggs. Like I say, I'll put them like a box of six eggs for Easter. Uh, he's got some stuff on there for Mother's Day. So, you know, brilliant gift ideas as well. And I wish you all the luck in the world, Danny. And I hope this little business really does take off for you, sweetheart. You deserve it. And thank you so much for those beautiful candles. They are stunning. And you can also choose your scents and your colours as well. But I went for these beautiful spring colours absolutely love them absolutely gorgeous and then just the neutral ones for on one of my trays so once again Danny thank you so much really really appreciate it so as I say I'll leave everything down in the description box for you to go and have a look at the, the website and that for yourselves right next thing guys is the glossy box I'm going to whisk through this with you um, now, Glossy Box have changed to one of these Scan Me, um, you know, to get all the information about them. Well, I, I film on my phone, so I've scanned it and I've written everything down. Right. And everything in this month's box is full size. Every product, which is really, really good. So... First thing is, I've got a, a sweet treat. So I've got sweets off Danny and I've got sweets off um, Glossy Box. This is a Mallow and Marsh Vanilla Marshmallow Bar coated in milk chocolate. So that's like a little treat that they've put in. The first thing in here is um, these Rose Liquid Highlighter by Elikia Beauty. Full size worth £12.50. Now you can use it as a highlighter or you can put a couple of drops in your foundation for more of a glow. Ooh. 
they look very nice looking forward to trying those i will include those in one of my makeup videos so that's the first item and that's worth 12 pounds 50 for that full size this is the thing that i've been um really excited about getting it's a mood stick and this is by KNDR Kinda Beauty. This is worth £17. And it's a lipstick that changes colour. When you put it on your lips, it goes to your pH balance. So, like, it's a unique colour for you. Look at the packaging. Absolutely beautiful. Whoops. Absolutely beautiful. The recommended retail price is £17. I think I just said that. And look, it's blue. And apparently it changes colour on your lips. So I'm going to put some on. Oh, it feels nice. It's very hydrating. And it says that it's a colour shifting lipstick and it transforms just for you from the shade Never Blue to a pH perfect tone for your lips. Bright blue turns to beautiful baby pink. It also leaves a sheer looks finish that hydrates your lips from dusk till dawn. Oh, look at that. It's going pink. Wow. Love that. I was really looking forward to getting that. So that's the second item. Nice to keep in your bag, isn't it? Like, like a bit of a lip balm, but also give you a bit of colour. So I love that. The next thing is, uh, this is full size. It's James Reed Sleep Mask Body Tan. Full size, recommended retail price, £21. And it says it develops through the night during your skin's most receptive hours. Light, sun-kissed glow it will leave you with that is buildable for a more intense colour. It says it's fast-drying, colourless, so it'll keep your bed sheets and your PJs clean. Looking forward to trying that. Love, um, you know, my uh, fake tan. And James Reed, very good brand, 21 quid. Next item is one of these uh, cleansing cloths, uh, wipe out microfiber cleansing cloth worth £8 and you can take your, your makeup off with just warm water with this, saves using cotton buds and stuff like that. So not much else to say about that really, it's a cleansing cloth. Uh, oh, so the last product you would get one of two. You would either get a shower foam or a body wash, and I have got the body wash by Bubble Tea, full size, and this is worth five pound. And it's in the scent Peony and Cherry Blossom. That sounds lovely, and just a body wash. So yeah, that's everything in this month's glossy box and i really like this month's glossy box guys i really do but rocker box still my favorite even though this is a good box this month for everything being full size so my darlings that is that done the end of the vlog i really do hope you've enjoyed this um vlog i hope it's not too long and I hope you've enjoyed spending a few days with us at the caravan in um, up the boat yard. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. And thank you all for your beautiful comments on my collaboration with Rosie. Really enjoyed doing that one. And most of you said that you loved the Tulay. Is it Tulay? He was calling it a Tulay skirt. Uh, most of you loved that and told me, you know, it really looked nice and sometimes it's good to step out of our comfort zone. And I agree. And looking back at the video, I think I will wear it, uh, you know, at some point, you know, if we go for a nice meal or something like that or if we're invited somewhere, I definitely will wear that. I might try it with like a vest and a blazer or something. I'll say mix and match it a little bit, but you was all really kind with your comments and we all agreed on the trousers you know what was going on down uh, 
there with a cam. Oh, excuse me, I've just had a cup there. With a camel toe. So, yeah, those trousers are, are going on vinted. I won't, I won't wear them. They, they just wasn't me at all. So, thank you for all your lovely comments. I really do appreciate it. You know that. So, guys, that's the end of the vlog. Uh, I'm going to go and put all our stuff away now from the caravan, get some washing on and just chill out for the rest of the... Well, I'm going to edit this video and get it uploaded for this evening. And, uh, yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button for me. And if you haven't already, please subscribe down below. It's totally free and totally up to you. And it will help my channel get out there and get me to my uh, next goal of 2,000 subscribers. I think I need... I think I need another 120 subscribers to get to my 2,000. So I'll push it out there <laughs> so I can get to my 2,000 subscribers and leave all your lovely comments down below. I will be getting back to the comments. I think I've got about 90-odd to um, reply to. But now I'm home and the weekend, you know, because I was away all week last week, I just, I just give everybody a love. So now I'm home, I can spend this evening just replying to you all. So thank you, guys. And also, I've bought myself a... I've treated myself, look. What do you think? To Let me get a bit closer so you can see it. I've bought myself a Vivian, neck, Vivian necklace. <laughs> Vivian Westwood pearl choker necklace. I absolutely love it. It's a little treat to myself. So... Let me know what you think. I love it. I want the one with the three strands on now, like the, the thicker one with the big orb there. So I might see if I can get that for my birthday. We'll see. It's not till May. Oh, and also my bloody car's playing up. Oh, God. The gearbox is playing up on my car. So that's another bloody thing that needs sorting out. Les says he's going to have a look at it. So I hope it can be mended. Otherwise, I, I don't know. I, I'll have to get one get the we've got a little um mercedes sl case so i might have to get that on the road for a few weeks if my car is out of action so we'll see i'll i'll keep you updated anyway i'm here again ramble 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 i, I never do anything any different do i than, than bloody ramble uh anyway yeah i'm gonna go and i'll see you all in my next video next video is gonna be uh a get ready with me got all those uh new products to test that new foundation by be perfect and that so yeah i might film that tomorrow or tuesday i'll say might just have a day of doing nothing tomorrow and then film it tuesday so until then guys take care enjoy the rest of your weekend i hope you've had a fab one the weather's been amazing let me know what you've been up to and i will see you all in the next one love you guys loads bye